Hello everybody, my name is Linda and welcome back to my channel. I hope this video finds you doing well and know that you are amazing, you are worth it, and that you matter. So for today's video, I decided to do a bit of a June favorites. I did some favorites videos in 2016 and I think I did one for January, which kind of coincided with my 2017 goals. And um, I haven't done one in a long time, but the reason for that being is that I don't really have much of a changing routine. I like to keep things very similar going from month to month, but um, during the summer I feel like I go more towards brighter colors and slightly different makeup products and things like that. Or I just figured I could share with you some favorite music um, because that is one of those things that hardly ever stays the same for me because I am the kind of person I love discovering new music and finding new tunes to listen to so my taste in music is always changing. Then again, not really my taste in music, but like the artists that I'm listening to at the moment always changes with some artists that kind of stay the same throughout whatever. I've also got some bath products, I've got some household items and things of that nature, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first thing that I've been doing a bit more in the month of June is wearing red lipstick and um, the one that I have on my lips right now is the Superstay 24 Hour Color from Maybelline. I've had this one for a really long time and it's just about at the end of its lifespan and I actually bought a few more red lipsticks to try for the month of July to see how I like them. This one, it just has the, um, the color applicator on one end and then after you let that dry and it dries super quick, you use this end, which is a bit like a chapstick, to moisturize it and to keep it a very smooth finish. So I really love this specific color, but I just decided that I would probably try something else for the month of July just to keep things new. But um, I definitely have been loving red lips for the summer. I just think red lips is a very classic look, you know, like you can't really ever go wrong with red lips because they seem to go with so many different things and I just think they look so classic and so classy. Another kind of beauty item is this body spray from Bath & Body Works and it is the White Peach Sangria. I have been loving peach scented things lately and uh, the one day I was at the mall and I got this with a peach hand cream as well as a peach hand sanitizer. So I went all peachy that day. Um, but like, it doesn't look like I've used a lot, but I use this almost every day and that's what I love about body sprays. They last so long. So yeah, the peach, the white peach sangria has been a staple of mine. I don't really like wearing a lot of perfume and I just, I'm very sensitive towards others that I don't want people with allergies to all of a sudden be half, like have to start sneezing around me because I'm wearing too much perfume or something. But um, uh, body spray can be a lighter scent and it's not as in your face as like perfumes can be. So that's why I've been loving body spray. I love taking some relaxing and rejuvenating baths a couple of times a month. Often I'll do it at least once a week depending on how I'm feeling or how much time I have. But um, the thing I always do when taking a bath is I just use regular Epsom salts and then I'll put a bath bomb in if I have one along with some bubble baths. So the bubble bath I tried this month is this one from Caprina, if I'm going to be saying that name right. And it is fresh goat's milk foaming milk bath with shea butter. And I love this one. It smells so good. Mm, yeah, it just smells really, really nice. It's really fresh smelling without being too strong. And, um, and it says it's a foaming milk bath. So if you put it in there, it kind of gives your water a little a little bit of a milky kind of look. It doesn't have like a thicker consistency or anything, but um, so yeah. A candle that I've been loving burning in the house has been this raspberry ripple scent from my local grocery store. And it just smells so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Just a perfect kind of ras a raspberry smell, but it almost has a bit of a vanilla hint to it. So it almost, you know, it almost smells like raspberry ice cream if you guys have ever had that. And it's just really, really good. So I love this scent. I really love sweet smelling candles, but um, I don't like having them on too long. It almost makes my stomach upset. 
So I like having ones that have a little bit more of a fruity smell along with the sweet smell so that it's not so overwhelming. And this one just, this one's fantastic. Oh yes, I love this one. Mm. One of my favorite snacks for the month of June, I have really been into dipping strawberries into chocolate. Over here in Ontario, it's strawberry season right now. So they have a ton of strawberries locally grown. I have been buying strawberries almost every week when I go grocery shopping. And sometimes, you know, just strawberries can be a little bit boring. So sometimes I'll sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them or I will dip them into slightly melted chocolate. Like I'll put Nutella in a bowl and heat it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then dip the strawberries in that. And it is so good. And it has been a guilty pleasure of mine this month. And I've really had to stop myself from eating it like every day because I know the chocolate part isn't so good. I always say it's all about balance, but you know, enough is enough sometimes. <laughs> and last but not least comes my music favorites, which was my whole point of making this video. Um, number one has definitely been Ed Sheeran. I am probably one of Ed Sheeran's biggest fans. I know a lot of people would say that, but honestly, I listen to his music almost every single day. Um, mixed with other stuff, but Ed Sheeran's songs are at least somewhere in a day's listen when it comes to music. And I actually got the record of his newest album. I had um, Divide on Spotify already and had been listening to it for quite a while. It's definitely my favorite album of the year, probably. And um, there's a new record store that opened at our local mall and I saw this when I walked in and I just had to have it. The art and everything in it is just gorgeous. This is what it looks like. You've got Ed right there and then the lyrics to uh, Castle on the Hill is on this side here. So I have this sleeve, which has the lyrics to Supermarket Flowers on it, which is one of my absolute, really f absolute favorite songs that Ed has ever done. And a uh, reason for that being is it reminds me of my, my mom. My, for those of you who don't know, my mother passed away about nine years ago from cancer. So any songs that relate to losing someone really hit me hard in my heart. And it makes me tear up almost every single time. And when I let my brother listen to it, he cried too. And it was just like, oh, this song, you know? It's just one of those songs that's just very dear to my heart. So I love that they had the lyrics of Supermarket Flowers on one of the sleeves. And then they also have uh, Shape of You as the other sleeve like that. And then on the back, it just has, um, on the other one, it's the same thing. It just has the track numbers with the lyrics and stuff like that, which I think is really great because sometimes, especially with uh, singers with accents, you can't always understand exactly what they're saying. So then you can look it up and you can see what it is. So you can better sing along and jam out to your favorite tunes. So I've been loving that album from Ed Sheeran, but then I also wrote down a few more that I have been loving. And one of the other songs, which is one of Ed Sheeran's older songs, is You and I. And it also has one, it's a really feelsy song. Not that I can relate to it personally, but it's just, I love songs that kind of tell a story or that make you feel things. I love songs that just, that have the feels, you know? I highly recommend you guys check that one out if you're not familiar with his older music. And other songs include Superman Wonder Girl by Dusk and Lights. It just has such a unique sound. It is such a beautiful song and it has to do with Superman and other superheroes, you know? So it's like, oh, you know, it's awesome because I love songs that incorporate things that I love that aren't related to music, but that can be put into music, if that makes sense. I love, I love it when artists do that. So that's a good one. And then Lonesome Dreams by Lord Huron. Lord Huron is actually someone that I recently discovered in the month of June. And um, I, he caught my attention by his song, Lonesome Dreams, and then I listened to some of his other stuff and it's just all so beautiful, but Lonesome Dreams especially is my favorite. And it is just, has again, such a unique sound. I am very, very much an indie music person because I just, I love indie music and the unique sound it has. And um, the lyrics are often very interesting and yeah. So indie music will always be on the list of favorites when it comes to music because I'm always listening to some kind of indie music. And then I already mentioned Ed Sheeran and then there's also Wait For Me by Moto Pony. I was obsessed with this song 
for a while when I first watched um, oh, what's his name Dylan O'Brien's a movie uh, first time I don't know if you guys have seen it but there is one song in there this one wait for me that just really caught my ear when I watched the movie and I fell in love with the song and I listened to it non-stop for a long time and then I forgot about it for like a year or more and then somehow I think someone used it in a video edit that I watched but then I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't listened to that song in so long. So I found it again on Spotify and I listened to it and it's just, oh, you know, it's certain songs just bring back so many memories and like of that point in your life when you were obsessed with that song. So I was just so happy to rediscover it and to listen to it all over again. And then another one that I listened to a lot many years ago is Vanilla Twilight by Owl City. I used to be a huge fan of Owl City and I still love like a lot of his music. I'm just not, I just don't listen to a lot of it and I haven't listened to a lot of his recent stuff. But Vanilla Twilight is one song that, another one that really hit my heart. I realized that I misspoke earlier when I said that my mom passed away nine years ago. It's actually eight years ago. And um, this song I discovered probably about a year after my mom passed away. And it was also one of those songs that really hit, like, that was very dear to me. It's one of those songs that can be interpreted different ways. So a lot of people, they might be like, oh, that doesn't remind me of something like that. But it just reminded me of the fact that I feel like my mom is still watching over me, even though she's not here. You know, she's still here in spirit and stuff like that. So Vanilla Twilight was just such a beautiful song and it just really touched my heart. So it's also one of my, one of my all time favorite songs, but I also forgot about it for a while until I don't know, I just sound like, oh my gosh, I haven't listened to that song in a while, so I looked it up on Spotify, and um, I have been listening to it a lot in June. So it's really cool to rediscover old music that you used to love a lot, and to be able to fall in love with it all over again. Music is just one of those things that it's it's been around for so long, and it's one of those things that's never gonna go away. People are always gonna be creating music because there's just certain emotions that can only be, be portrayed through words and through music. And I just feel like music is just one of those really special things that can move, that can move people and can make an, such an impact on people, you know? And it's just, I love music. I love discovering new music. I love going to concerts. We're going to a concert in about a week, actually, a week and a week and a half. And I'm just, I'm so excited because I love live music and to be around other people who love it just as much as I do. And, and it's just, it's such a cool experience. So I can't wait to go to more concerts in the future and to rediscover and to discover a lot of new music and old favorites. But that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave me comments in the comment section below if any of these favorites were yours as well, or if you have other favorites, let me know. Also, let me know if you guys have any cool plans for the summer. I hope to do a little bit more vlogging now that summer's around because I feel like there's more going on and there's more that would be interesting to watch if I vlogged. So we'll see when I get around to more of that. But Canada Day weekend is coming up, so I might vlog what we do that day and um yeah so stay tuned for that you can find me on all social medias via the links down in the description box below if you guys want to keep up with any adventures that i do when i'm not recording so uh instagram is usually the first place that sees pictures twitter is the first place that hears updates about what i'm up to where i am things of that nature so be sure to follow me over there if you want to keep up with me but until next time, never stop dreaming or shooting for the stars, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!